Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So here I have the much requested <laughs> makeup collection video for you. Um, I, I will go ahead and put out there, as most of us do, this is in no way any sort of bragging. This is simply the collection video that has been requested over and over again. And a good way for you guys to see kind of how I organize, what I put things in what drawers. I think that is the part that people are more curious about. So that is what I have for you guys today. If you've not seen part one, which is the overview tour of my room, you might want to check that out just to kind of give you like a spatial understanding of, you know, kind of where these things are. Because after this clip, it's going to go right into the first drawer of my first piece of furniture so um, hopefully if you haven't seen that you go check that out it'll help you know make things a little bit more clear I've tried to list everything in that video you know where I where I purchased everything that I have or I talked about it but if there's anything that I didn't talk about I will list that below here so if there's something I've missed feel free to ask a question and I will get back to it as quickly as I can understand that there I'm guessing there might be a few more comments than normal on this so it might take me a little bit to get back to so with all of that said and without further ado let's get into it okay so this is my dresser that I have shown you before. I'm going to show you what's in the drawers. So I have these little baskets that I got. I think I maybe even got them at Aldi or something, but they're very inexpensive. I just like to use it to kind of keep things more organized. So over here I have some cleansers that, um, this is actually a, from Arbonne. It's an exfoliating scrub, which I don't really like, but so I have an eye makeup remover there that I have yet to use, one of the things I'm wanting to try. Um, um, Bioderma spray water, and then this is a BRX cleanser that is waiting for me to finish the one that's in my shower, and then I'm going back to that one. And then this has lotions, some that have to I have to use like in the summer. Um, both of the neither one of these BDRX ones were heavy enough for me for winter. So those are there. There's a Plain Rothschild Sheer Renewal that I'm going to use this summer. These are a couple of moisturizers that I got in the little beauty boxes. This night one by Neutrogena. And then the one next to it is a simple one. And then a backup of my restructuring, reconstructing serum. And I have uh, sunscreen it's back there. This is the Plain Rothschild Oil. And then over here, I have this ginormous thing of Cetaphil. I use CeraVe. I have not used Cetaphil. This came in an Allure Beauty Box. And these are like little sample sizes I was getting of the Ula Henriksen when I was on the automatic delivery for the Truth Serum. And then over here, I have some masks that are, you know, like liquidy masks, like not a paper mask. So I have the Colleen Rothschild one that I use just for spot. Queen Helene I also use for spot. The Cebu one I don't think I've used at all and this is an Elizabeth Arden hydrating mask that I got at TJ Maxx. This drawer is perfumes. My friend Holly thought that I needed to try more perfumes so she sent me almost all of these. Oh Holly. And then um, there's some other ones in this little bag here so I have plenty of those. These are um, some backup masks that I got, some eye ones, as well as face masks that I got at TJ Maxx. And then some backup cotton clouds. So the, this is where I usually keep my um, makeup remover wipes. And then some extra light bulbs. And then in here, this is a, some Mar Mario Badescu samples that I haven't gotten to try yet. So I just kept them in there. And then down here is just my makeup bags. This used to be much worse, and I have given a whole lot of them away. So this is what I used to put brushes in. This is my favorite makeup bag. This one is my second favorite, uh, mostly because it was a sweet gift from a subscriber, and I love it. It's a great size, actually. So yeah, that's what's in there. All right, so on top of my, this is my nine drawer Alex. You guys would have seen this in the tour. I have a little turntable with my foundations and BB creams on there and actually both of these are just about gone but anyway so that that is that and then I think I showed this I have one of these um, racks here and then there's one over there 
I don't think I'll do a nail polish collection, but nobody probably really cares. So and this is the first drawer of my Alex unit. I have primers here. This is a whole life. For some reason, I have a back sack of Laura Mercier primers. I don't know why. This is what I have for eye primers. This actually is a glitter glue, Urban Decay and Sin, and then these two Lorac behind the scenes, which I do not love in the slightest. And then this was the sample sizes that came with the Naked 3 palette. These are mascaras. And then this is a combo. This side is brow products. This side is concealers. And these are these kind of concealers. And this is the little Tarte brow thing. This is a Sephora mirror. And this is the Cosmetics primer, which is terrible. The CC primer. Oof. Terrible. Okay, so this drawer is kind of a like a combo of things. So I have some powders that have color to them. So they're like a powder foundation. So, um, you know, like the Chanel. This is the my travel size of the Laura Mercier. Bobbi Brown. The Milani multi Multitasker. Burberry Powder and Trench. The It Cosmetics. I really want to try the Illuminating one. This is a cream foundation from Cover Effects that I really like. This is a cream foundation from CoverGirl. Revlon Color Stay Whipped, Bobbi Brown, and Laura Mercier right there. And then this is my Chanel Loose Powder. Um, it's driving me crazy that the C's aren't right. And then this is the that Amazonian Clay Foundation, the new one. I haven't tried it yet. I'm waiting for it to be just a little more humid. Back there is my brow kit. I don't use that very often. It's a little kabuki brush here. And then these are just some other powders that don't have color. So there's a tart, sample size of Tarte Makeup Forever. This is a Catrice. And this is the e.l.f. Um, Complexion Perfection, I think. Yep. Um, Rimmel Stay Matte. The Chanel that I like. It's just the pressed version of this one. And then the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. And a Catrice. That's Catrice Function. I really like that Catrice one. Okay, so this is my bronzer and highlighter drawer. I just have kind of this row of bronzers. Um, there's a few in here. This is a Merle Norman one I haven't played with too much. Victoria's Secret that Laura sent me. Travel size Too Faced Chocolate Soleil that my friend Kristen hooked me up with. This is a Guerlain. Um, this is a Stila. It was a birthday present from Kristen. And this is a Natio that I really like. As I like this Catrice one as well. Um, this is a one from Pure. I haven't played with too much. The Sephora Los Cabos. Revlon. Hourglass. That's a cream and blush. Both cream blush, cream, bronzer, and, po and blush. The Bourgeois Chocolate Bar looking one that Kirsten hooked me up with. And then some bronzing kind of beads back there from Physicians Formula. And these are highlighters that I have. Um, I'll just run through them quickly. This is my travel size of the Laura Mercier. This is a Bare Minerals, This Magic Moment. This is Elizabeth Arden, the Rose Gold. Mary Luminizer, Laura Mercier. And then this is the Dior Rose Diamond, Dior Amber Diamond. The Laura Mercier Rose Illuminator. This is Illamasqua and Gleam, which I love. And then the Meet the Guerlain Cruel Gardenia. And then this is Wet n Wild, Reserve Your Cabana. Hard Candy Tiki. This is a Burberry. Summer Glow, beautiful. This is a limited edition, also beautiful, from Catrice. Physicians Formula. A Smashbox that's as old as the hills, but gorgeous. It Cosmetics Highlighter. And then this is, I think, Candlelight. Yes, by Laura Mercy. I haven't used that one very much either. And then those are my two kind of liquidy ones, the What's Up and then the Buxom. Okay, so this is just kind of higher end palettes or things I didn't quite know where to put that kind of thing so I have my Inglot sing you know palettes in here and I have two ten pans and a five pan there's an Avon quad in here I actually have more of those now but they're in the testing portion I'll show you that later an Illamasqua quad that I love two of the 8.0s from Bare Minerals two Tom Fords and then I have this is actually a trio that I put together from Rouge Bunny Rouge this is that trio from the Merle Norman Spring Collection. I have um, two now, but only one in here currently because it's in someplace else. A Guerlain 
quad and then the Dior Rosy Tan then four Chanel quads. This is a gosh quad that I absolutely love in Driftwood. The Sonia Kashuk one with the funky little things and then this is a MAC mineralized quad that I don't love. Okay, so <laughs> I have a thing for eyeshadows. So these are my Bare Minerals duos and quads. And then this is just kind of a mishmash of different quads and that sort of thing. And then some larger palettes back here. And these are a couple NARS duos that I have there. Um, and then this is, oh yeah, there's, well, you know. It's a mishmash. And then these are the cake liner sort of things from Bare Minerals. This is my kind of drugstore palette drawer. So I have the Shonya, the Shonya, the Sonia Kashuk palettes here. I have the NYC trios here. These are the Wet n Wild six pans that they did away with for some crazy reason. The Wet n Wild trios. And these are the Maybelline Eye Studio quads here. The Wet n Wild eight pans back there. And then these are Maybelline duos and I think I have singles in here as well. I don't think these are all duos. Yep, I have some singles in here as well. Some e.l.f. quads and then Maybelline quads like that. And then my flower quad is here. And then this awesome quad from Physicians Formula. These matte quads are great. This is a palette drawer. I wonder if it, this would be better if I came at it from the side. Okay, I turned around and I'm doing this from the side. This is kind of my palette drawer. Um, love me some palettes. Let's remember one of my one of my most popular videos is the Four Looks One Palette series. Um, so I just kind of have them lined up this way because I'm normally sitting in my chair. So these are obviously the Urban Decay, some Tarte, Stila, Too Faced, Lorac Pro. The Balm, the Balm Jovi, right? Yes. And there are some other ones that aren't in here. The Cosmetics, Bare Minerals, and then a Smashbox one. And that's the Urban Decay Smoked. These are the Kat Von D. Some Sleek Palettes. I'm always curious if people would want to have a Four Looks One Palette with a Sleek Palette. And then some other kind of random palettes here that were gifts. And then the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. So this drawer has my Too Faced palette and then palette and then the Lorac Pro. And I have like the smoked, the original smoked, and this smoked, and then I think they even changed it again because now they're all like in this packaging that kind of drives me crazy. Back there is the Tarte Bow to Go, Bow and Go. And then the Smashbox Wonder Vision. And then this is the balm. Voyage. I just got that. I haven't had a chance to play with that yet. Okay, so the bottom drawer I have just kind of a mishmash of things. I have a backup of the Australis Makeup Setting Spray, which I love, that um, this goddess in training sent me. The Urban Decay All Nighter uh, make the MAC Makeup Remover. And then this is a backup of the um, Le Creme Concentré from Embryo Lease. And this is my Travel Fix Plus. I just have kind of extra things in here. Like little kits that I get from Sephora, like this birthday kit that I don't really know what to do with. This is my backup of my Laura Mercier. And then over here are things that are like backups or things that I might put in a giveaway, but you know, that's like my hoarding of the Maybelline Taupe Takeover. Actually, I had a couple of really sweet friends hook me up with some of those things. And sometimes I put things in here that I'm going to use for a giveaway. So. And then this is my Coastal Scents Neutral palette that I just, for some reason, keep there. Okay, so on to the makeup vanity portion. I will just kind of show you... I'm sitting in my chair here. So I kind of briefly went over. This is mascaras that I'm currently using and I just have this thing back here to kind of keep them forward. <laughs> I don't know why I just started doing that. And this product is something I'm trying to use up. This is the Smashbox Halo Powder. So I have it just sitting here because it doesn't fit here, which we'll talk about in, the mo in a moment. This is a, a cup that, or wine glass, I'm trying to show you guys. So you can see this is Chicago 2012. 
Shani from Shani Banny made these for all of us when we went to Chicago. Back there is my MAC brush cleaner, which I mix 50% brush cleaner, 50% water. The pump on there is from a Bumble and Bumble hair tonic, something that I saved, in case anybody's wondering about that. I have some Kleenex back there. And then, again, this and this I got at Holt Look, and these are two separate pieces that I can show you. And currently up here I have the Lingerie de Po BB Cream and the Giorgio Armani Luminescent CC Cream, which I don't love, sadly. And um, I have put in front here, these are some sample primers that I want to use. Normally, I'll just take these out of here. Normally this is kind of what you would see here. I usually have two foundations and a primer and then anything else that I'm trying to work through or test or whatever. So currently I'm kind of playing around with the Illuminator from the, the Nars Bleaker collection and then this Revlon Lights. This is a hand cream and then this is another primer. I've really been liking the Neutrogena. Hopefully you guys can see that in the sun isn't causing too many issues. And then in the lipstick kind of area, this is another um, primer. This one is from Merle Norman. This is not for those of us with dry skin, I've determined. This is a lip balm that I use in the morning. I have my Revlon Lash Glue there. This is the uh, Fusion XL the product right here that just plumps up your lips a little bit. And these are those Pixie Liner Set. They're smaller, I don't want them to get lost in the glass over here, and I'm kind of working through those to do a, a review. And then I have this here, this is the Jordana Toller Made to Last Espresso, and that's the brown I'm supposed to be working through right now, so I have left that out, you know, for my whole products I'm going to use up. Behind here I have a little baby Tresemme hairspray, because you never know when you might need it when I'm filming. Hand cream, makeup remover, Fix Plus, antibacterial. And then this cup, normally does not have these in here. Let's just remove those for the sake of this. And this kind of has my concealers and brow products that I'm working through. This is the MAC Radiant Rose. It's a nice place for me to store the Giorgio Armani uh, Maestro. This is my Giorgio Armani Corrector. You can see how much of that I've used. Um, yeah, so just kind of random things. And I always have my um, Sonia Kashuk Lash Comb. And my tweezers, always right there, my Pro Longwear Concealer. And then in here, these are products that I use every single morning. So this top drawer, I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder, so I don't use that every morning. But I'm either using that or the Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. This is the bronzer that I'm using right now, and then my NYX Taupe. This is MAC and Painterly. This is the eye primer I'm using, by the way, currently. And then this drawer is the NARS Magic Powder that I'm not so sure it's magic. The <laughs> Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, which is on my products to use up. This is my Hourglass Trio um, that I've been using lately. And this is the Laura Geller French Vanilla. I really like that to set my under eye. And then I've talked about this a bajillion times. The CoverGirl in 210. And then the bottom drawer is my MAC palette that I use every single day. The colors in here are Brulee, Quarry, uh, soft brown and wedge and then this I just got so I haven't even opened it up that that's the bare minerals um, well rested this is a Giorgio Armani highlight and belladonna that I love a sharpener lip balm a couple of samples all right up here I have two boxes of stuff I'm needing to try and work through so this is a box of Mary Kay stuff that I got from influence and then this is a box of Avon products I've had a couple of things sent to me from a couple of different people and that I'm going to review and um, get get um, out a review to you guys. This, as I said, is my this, this is my vanity mirror, which I cannot stand because it's a touch mirror. The mirror itself is lovely, but I don't like the touch part of it. It drives me crazy. You guys have seen my little light situation. And over here is just kind of the brush situation that I showed you before. I still need to wash my brushes. It's only a day after the last me recording the last video but I like to keep my dirty brushes here this I bought I think it was at Walmart or TJ Maxx or something I don't know but face brushes that I use regularly as soon as I wash them they go back in these two sides and the middle one are brushes that I have used this is my other brush situation over here um, normally this isn't right up against here so normally this turns because I have it turned sideways 
and um, I have them kind of separated out by like detail brushes or blending lay down brushes. There, there's a method to the madness. And look at I melted this in a, in a this is a, a synthetic brush that I melted in a hotel room. And I love this brush. This is the Mr. Bunny brush. I was so sad. Anyway, <laughs> you will you will see that. I'll explain these when I show you the other Alex unit. And then back here, these are my shadow sticks that I have currently. So there's a bunch of different kinds in there. Laura Mercier, Mally, One Mac, a couple of NYX, Clinique, you know. You know. So this drawer has a rhyme and a reason, I promise you. Extra Q-tips back there. Makeup wipes here. This is my book that I keep like my review, like when I write down my foundation grading system and everything is there. This is the mirror. If you guys watch my vlog channel, you know the story behind that mirror. I got it at Christmas time. This is kind of the lashes that I'm working with right now. I have lashes that you would have seen in my cabinet on my other, on my tour, makeup tour. But these are kind of the ones that I'm working with. So I have some Inky Minkies back there. And then these cool ones. I sent Emily a pair of these just because they're so cool looking. But I haven't worn mine yet. And anyway, so that's what that is. And then this is that moisture stick from e.l.f. I just have stuck right there. So these two containers here are products that I've gotten recently that I want to make sure I don't just put away and forget about. So I have like the NARS Bleaker collection here and the NARS Duo and Kawaii. This is the Guerlain Les Fumes. I don't know how I could forget about that. This is the, um, Emily sent me some of these because she loves them so much and I actually really enjoy all of these colors together. The Bite Beauty Lip Products, that low, or special edition MAC product, the Baby Lips. Some of these, I guess just this might be the only thing I featured in favorites. Newer MAC lipstick, and then these are the e.l.f. blushes that I want to make sure that I'm trying. This is the blush cheek stain or whatever, and flush, I don't love that. It doesn't ever set. Anyway, a couple more Jane eyeshadows I showed. Uh, so things if I showed in the haul, but I want to use them and, you know, see what I think about them, they stay in here until I have an opinion. Um, or if they're a favorite, like this one, I just keep going back to them. So that's what's going on in here. Um, and then over here I have Q-tips. I just keep refilling this container with the big one because this fits easily here. A couple of Kabuki brushes. This mirror I use regularly. I have no idea why I have eyelash curlers because I don't ever use them. Like, never. And then my beauty blender, after I wash it out, I just set it back in here to dry. And then back there I have extra sharpeners, sponge tips, and a little travel size of the Urban Decay. And then this is another little brush that I like. And then this one I use all the time too, but it was just driving me nuts sitting up there. Normally, I, like I used to have it sit there, but it's driving me nuts. So it's been housed in there. So this is my Alex 6 drawer. And I have the wheels on it. Makes it easier for me turning things around. And if that doesn't make sense to you, go go watch part one. <laughs> and on top of here, I just have, as I've, I've said in that video, I have brushes that are shorter handles and kind of get lost. I have in this little cleaned up Bath and Body Works candle. And I have this turning thing that I got at TJ Maxx for those brushes. And some lipsticks. And those are all my lip liners right there in the two ends. And then this container was purchased at, or was given to me by Emily, but she got it at Lady Moss, I think. So lipsticks just that I'm working on, kind of go through there, and all my chubby things are there. Lip glosses, fancier schmancier lipsticks, and then lip glosses here. And the reason I have these stored upside down, somebody asked me in my last video, is just so that I can see the color. It's easier than trying to dig through the other ones. Okay, so drawer one is cream products. So these are like my Ice to Kill, um, my MAC Paint Pots, Pox, Paint Pots, uh, my Illusion Dombres, Color Tattoos, Smashbox, I think that's what these are, and Catrice, so just cream, potted cream products. Pigments over here, those are the pigments that I have. And then I've shown this in a video, I'll link below. This is my binder that I use for my eyeliners. I do have a couple of um, Bobby Brown back here as well. These are the gel liners that I have and then these are a couple of other just kind of random -y products like my Tarte cream shadows I really like back here. These are a couple I've been playing with that a friend sent to me. 
And then these are a couple of Ilamasca cream pigments that don't necessarily have a home, so they have to sit there. This drawer is my single eyeshadows. <laughs> I know. Um, Chanel along here. These are my Hourglass Duos, and then I do have this one Elf single. And then these are my Burberry singles. And I just have them set so I can see the color. Clinique. There's a Urban Decay. Sorry, Bob's running water. Um, Too Faced Glamazon. I think this is ours, Ashes to Ashes. Le Métier Debuté Corinthian. A couple of Laura Merciers. I have some Merle Norman singles there. The Sephora Prisma ones. These are Catrice shadows, and these ones are from Joe Fresh, which I think they, well, I know they came from a friend in Canada, but I think that's the only place you can get them. And then this is a Bourgeois that I absolutely love. A couple of El Verdes, Rock and Republic. This is a MAC that's a bigger one that I haven't depotted. Those are the Bare Minerals High Shines. Then these are the Bare Minerals Loose Shadows that I have, and then all of my L'Oreal Infallibles. And then over here, again, it's just kind of a mishmash. There's some Milani singles, Hard Candy Duos, um, some Essence singles back there, L'Oreal Hip. These are some Jane shadows, a couple of Cargos. So just kind of a little mishmash. But I can see them all. That's why, that's why I took them out of all of the containers that they were in because I, see like, I feel like I can see these better and I use more of them. So there is that. So this drawer is like my palleted products. So these are Z palettes or depotted palleted, I don't know. So this has like Wet n Wild and some NYX. These are my makeup. Everybody always asks me because I don't talk about them. I don't know why everybody talks about them, which is maybe why I don't. But um, <laughs> these are the Makeup Geek singles that I have. I very much like them. So there's some depotted NARS. So those are some Lorac that I've depotted and some NARS. And then back there is my MAC Pro Longwares and MAC Metal, Metal X or Metal something. And then these are the Bobbi Brown blushes that I have. I have four of them. Those are my MAC blushes. And Tarte. So my Tarte depotted blushes. I did keep the containers though. And then these are my Bobbi Brown singles, but I have them obviously in a palette. This is the Laura Geller Baby Cakes. I was so excited to get this palette and I have not used it. I need to break that out. And this is the NARS blush palette from last year. This is a product I just don't know where to go with it. It's, a, it's that NARS. Um, it's a trio. And then these are my MAC eyeshadow palettes. And then way back here I have a little Aveda palette. Okay, so this is a blush drawer, one of two, and over here are the box blushes from Benefit, Cargo, a couple of Merle Norman, a couple of Estee Lauder, the Naked Flushed palette, these are by Bare Minerals Loose Ones, most of these I've gotten in kits, I did buy a couple on their own, but this is, um, I have a couple Jordanas here. Some L'Oreal True Matches, NYC's, Milani, mostly Milani, Physician's Formula, Blushing Glow and Rosy Glow. Then the new Maybelline's, Hard Candy in, yeah, Pin Up, and then Hard Candy in, I think it's Doll Face or Baby Doll or something. I love that one. The Clinique Cheek Pops and then the Coastal Scents, Essence, NYX. A few sleek ones that I've gotten as gifts. This beautiful Catrice one that was a gift. And then back there I have the Wet n Wild ones. And then, <laughs> this is my MAC section over here. These There are some cream blushes and there's also some NYX cream blushes in there. And there's a Smashbox one back there as well. These are the MSFs. I used to have a lot more and I sold a bunch of them. And these are the blushes, the In Dimension blushes. I just love them. And then, so those are a couple in the Hey Sailor collection. There's a couple of the Marilyn Monroe back there. Then the mineralized mineralized ones here. 
These are from the new collection. This is a gorgeous Guerlain blush. I have a Burberry, three NARS. Um, these are my Ilamasca blushes, Chanel blushes, three Rouge Bunny Rouge, a couple of Tom Fords, a couple of Bare Minerals, that Tarte gorgeous one. This is Lorac Soul, one of my favorite blushes of all time. I think if I had to pick one blush to wear for the rest of my life, that might be it. Might. We'll see. Might might be Rocketeur. <laughs> so these are a couple of Tarte Exposed I keep like that because I take it a lot for travel. This is a little smaller one. I think it's Fearless. And then this is a highlight. The Balm and Stain Blushes, which I've not gotten to play with much. And then the rest of the Balm Blushes. A few Catrice Blushes and a couple of Smashbox Blushes. And then those are some kind of cream products that I have there. And then this is my lip drawer. You guys have seen this before when I did the lipstick tag. This needs to be cleaned out a little bit more. I don't use a lot. I just don't. I, I just don't. But I buy them sometimes for review purposes and dupes and that sort of thing. So anyway, pretty much MAC, a little bit higher end. This container is mostly drugstore. So NYX soft matte lip creams and then the lip butter lipsticks butter lipsticks whatever and then these are kind of this is like an international drawer <laughs> and these are my lip creams from Too Faced and then some of these sorry the lip creams from Too Faced and then some of these slim ones from MAC and tubed lip glosses these are mostly my Bare Minerals Moxies and then these smaller lipsticks I like to organize things that way and some jumbo lip pencils that sort of thing that about wraps up that drawer. Thank you so much for watching. I do apologize that it was a little bit longer than I was hoping it would be, but that's just kind of the way it was. <laughs> The way that it went. If you're new to my channel, first of all, thank you for, for stopping by and welcome. And I normally at the end will always tell you guys what is on my face. So very quickly, I will tell you foundation I'll list below. It's the same as I have been using. And I have the Clinique Cheek Pop and Plum Pop on my cheek on my cheeks and on my eyelids today I have three Rouge Bunny Rouge shadows and then a Merle Norman so I have um, Solstice Halcyon in my inner third on the other third I have Delicate Hummingbird underneath my lash line I have Bohemian Waxwing and then to deepen up my outer third and into the crease I have the Merle Norman single in Plum Surprise. And then on my lips today, I also have a Merle Norman product. It's the Lipstick in Late Bloomer. All right, thank you guys again for watching. I really hope that you have a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.